In the next step we want to define the grid based on the Excel data. Please remember that we have linked some of the Excel columns to business entities from the MicroStrategy Business Abstraction layer. With this in mind, we can configure an interactive behavior between all grids and graphs, even if parts of the data come from local data sources. Unfortunately, we need a new metric, for example profit margin, that is not already defined in any of our data sources. And we want to combine this new metric with our grid on the fly at the bottom of the dashboard. Thanks to Visual Insight, the tool offers me a tremendous flexibility. Based on the analytical in-memory engine, we can define new metrics on the fly and we can use a function reference with 300 mathematical and statistical functions to fulfill even very challenging demands. A set of typical predefined metrics like rank metrics, percent to total or even OLAP metrics are available on the fly without the need to start the mathematical function wizard. In addition to this, we can define thresholds for all of our metrics that highlight important business coherences. Advanced sorting capabilities are available for all rows and columns and can be used by dashboard designers and end users as well. For the last part of the dashboard, we want to define a bubble graph based on customer performance that should be controlled by the previous defined grid. Now we see nearly 50,000 customer bubbles in the bubble graph because the graph is not yet controlled by the grid when the user selects a customer city. We will change this behavior now. Now the bubble graph is controlled by the grid when the user selects a customer city. We will implement the same approach for the graph at the top of the dashboard. At the end of our implementation, we want to configure the filter panel, or rather selector panel, on the left side of the dashboard. We can choose any business entity from any dataset to optimize its behavior. And we can even choose metrics that we have defined on the fly based on MicroStrategy's analytical engine. Furthermore, we can decide the way a filter object works and if the user can benefit from full text search capabilities as well. Filter objects control the grids and graphs in the dashboard in real time with a spontaneous response of the visualization.
great. I finished my work in less than 10 minutes and now I can send this interactive Visual Insight solution immediately to my boss on his iPad with just a few mouse clicks. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the short demonstration, although I covered only the basics of this powerful tool. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via email. Bye.